How y'all doing, my peoples? Um, I've been spiritually led um, to deliver this message. I'm going to kind of touch bases on more than one thing. Um, but basically, since the last time I made a video, it was about repentance. And um, this is just a update on how I've been doing as far as um, repenting. Um, so I have immediately um, turned my life over to Christ, you know, fully submitted myself to Christ, um, which means that I fast, you know, um, whenever I can or, you know, I fast a lot. I pray a lot. I spend time with him. I meditate in my Bible with him. You know, I have a, I have a relationship. He is my friend. He is my friend. He's a friend of mine and he wants to be a friend of yours. So yes, I, I repent. I fast and I pray a lot. And, um, you know, as I said that I had a problem with alcohol, you know, that was my stronghold and just, I'm so proud of myself um, for the holidays. Usually when I'm in the kitchen cooking, I like to have me some wine to help me, you know, cook or whatever. And, you know, just kind of like give me that little buzz to help me move around or whatever. But um, all glory be to God. I did not have a drink not one time. And I have not even really thought about it. I really don't. Uh, I don't think about it. And when I do have a, you know, kind of like try to get an urge, you know, because it's like I said, this walk is not going to be easy, but it's doable. And it's doable because you have Christ to lead you and guide you and the Holy Spirit that is within you is going to help you. You know, the, the angels are going to help you as well. You know, let me just say, let me just. Uh, share this a little bit. Okay, so one night I was um I had a hurt and I remember going to the Bible and I think it I wanna was it Luke? I should have wrote it down. But anyway, it was a scripture in there where the most high uh he had just came back with his disciples and he he had just um confirmed to Judah Judas that he was going to betray him so i guess Jesus after he had the dinner with the, you know with with you know with his peoples and everything with his men and and um um he wanted to have him a little cup of wine because he already know it was about to go down. He already knew that um, he was about to be sacrificed. He already knew that, you know, he had a mission here on earth, you know, such as we, we have a mission here. And um, so I guess he's like, well, let me get me a little buzz of this wine or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it read... Uh, so I kept on reading and it said, Jesus said, you know, to the most high Lord, if, if this is not your will, take this cup, uh, or if it's not your will for me to have this drink, take this cup. And then an angel appeared. And so that was his confirmation for him not to drink anymore. And after that, you know, he had confirmed that he would not have a drink of wine until uh, he have entered into God's kingdom. And that I feel the same way, like I will not have a drink of wine until I enter the kingdom. I totally submit myself to Christ and whatever it is, whatever addiction that you have, you can do it. You, you can make it through, but you're going to need Christ. You can't do it by yourself. 
You're going to need Christ. You're going to need the Holy Spirit to guide you through this. Okay. He never said it was going to be easy, but you know, we, we are transforming, you know, we're transforming ourselves. You know, we, we have to renew our minds, you know, and to renew our minds means that we have to let the old go. We have to die to our old selves. You know, while we're carrying this cross, we are dying to the flesh every day. So any sins, you know, drinking alcohol, smoking, weed, whatever drugs, uh, fornication, adultery, uh, gambling, fighting, uh, anything that's a sin that, that is not of God, you have to let that go. Repent. Take everything to Christ that you have a problem with. He will help you with it. You will be all right. I also ran into um, Proverbs 31, 6 through 7 says, Give strong drink to him who is perishing and wine to him that is bitter. Let them drink and forget their problems. So if you drinking strong drink, I mean, that's like liquor, you know, um, that's what's considered like strong drink in the Bible. If you drinking strong drink, you're perishing, you know, you're dying because you're uh, catering to your flesh. You know, we supposed to be walking in the spirit. So when you give in to these worldly uh, devices, you're dying, you know, um, it says wine, give the wine to the bitter and let them drink and forget their problems. But see, this is what God, the most high, he kind of like slick, funny, you know, because he be trying to like be sarcastic <laughs> because even when you drink the next day, that problem is still going to be there. So he wants for you to bring your problems to him and let him work them out with you you need him don't depend on the wine don't depend on the liquor don't depend on the drugs depend on the, the most high and uh, and and allow him to allow the holy spirit to work through you to work through whatever it is he can you can do all things through christ which strengthens you and i just want y'all to remember that you can't do nothing on your own Understand that this is a spiritual warfare. This is a spiritual fight. This is not um this is not physical. It can be if you allow it to be, but you are in control of your own destiny. You know, yes, it's sacrifices that you have to make. You know, and um like I said, what well, what I'm doing right now is very dangerous. You know, it's, it's dangerous because we are uh, living in the last days and they don't want uh, Christians. They don't want God's people out here putting out the word, you know, but God has made me bold, you know, and he's given me protection because this is my mission here on earth. This is what I'm meant to do. This is what I was born to do, you know. Um, so, hey, you can't be scared. You can't walk in fear. You know, um, hey, uh, like I've heard, you know, they chopping, they, they are beheading people, you know, they're beheading people for, um, being obedient to God. You know, this is the antichrist spirit that is on the earth right now. Um, so. You know, a, a true soldier of Christ, you're not going to be afraid of that, right? Because the Bible also speaks of those that try to save their lives will lose their lives. And those who lose their lives actually find their lives. So if I'm beheaded, I'm going to heaven. I'm going to be with my heavenly father. But if I try to save my life here and I don't do 
my mission and what I'm I was born to do, my calling. I'm 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 up shit's creek. Excuse my language, but I'm I'm up the creek. And I I, ain't, I I can't go down, I can't go out like that. You know, um I didn't want to be on here for long. I did have this on my heart. I had a couple things, a couple of things that I wanted to talk about as well, but I guess I'll save that for another video. Um this was just on my mind and you know I'm just constantly asking God I just I always feel like I'm not doing enough you know I'm not doing enough you know Lord what else you know what else you know I I just want to I want to please him you know I want I want him to tell me well done servant I want to I want to totally submit myself to him and I want to bring other people into his kingdom and out of this hill, you know. But um, I love y'all. Y'all keep fighting. Keep God first. You got this. You can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. The devil is a liar. Whatever he tell you, bind him and rebuke him in the mighty name of Jesus. Cast him down to the abyss in the mighty name of Jesus. You have that power. I love y'all. Keep fighting. God love you more. Stay up. All right.